Welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. We're going to be doing an update right here on the Mixed Reality Capture Setup Guide that's on Oculus Home in the Developer Center. Quick shout out to Bobby for sending me a message and letting me know that uh, they actually had this available. I actually had saved the URL for this section a long time ago, but every time I would click on it, it would say it was not available. So apparently in the last few days, this must have been um, putting out for everybody to see. So anyway, he actually messaged me and said, hey, the reason your VR trackers might not have worked in the last video that you put out was because the old model controllers, you know, the pre-production models, they don't work, at least not all of them. So if you go in here where it says compatible systems, you're going to see, hey, it's got all these different compatible PCs that you potentially may or may not be able to use. And then after that, you go into VR object setup. And this is what he sent me right here. He said, hey, these controllers with these model numbers, it says right now, they are not going to be able to work, these early pre-production models. Luckily, I do have one set that is actually not those models. So mine still will work. The ones I used in that previous videos just happened to not be those models. Um, so regardless, I was thinking, well, why why did mine not work? If the if the models were correct, you know, there, there must be more information. So obviously over here on the left tab, it says camera calibration right after VR object setup. So hey, what is this camera calibration? And if you start to look through here, basically it says there's some kind of a printout PNG that you can get. You can find the camera in your drop-down list. So it's like, wait a second, wait a second. I need to find what they're talking about. So I opened up my Oculus folder, and right here I just typed the word camera. And when you type in camera, you'll see there's camera tool, camera tool, camera tool. Okay, so uh, the first one on here is in support. If I open the file location, right here in support, diagnostics, camera tool, calibration. Awesome, so I can actually click the camera tool calibration and it's going to go ahead and bring up the cal uh, calibration tool. So all right, before I bring that up, I just wanna finish reading here. I basically go through a calibration process. Once I finish that, there will be virtual controllers that will be overlaid on your touch controllers to demonstrate the result of your calibration, meaning that it's working. Okay, awesome. Once that happens, you're going to save the file and or you know load the file so that you can you can either save the file so you can load it later every time you're playing in mixed reality okay gotcha all right next step mixed reality room setup okay so you can do your setup in either three sensors four sensors obviously there's a few different ways that you can do it four sensors is going to give you the best coverage makes sense all right so once we've calibrated our tool once we've got our setup we launch our app in our composite scene okay we do that using OBS Studio. This is something we're familiar with. We've been doing mixed reality here for some time. So, all right, how do you actually do it? It says, next, launch the app in mixed reality capture mode. Please refer to the app's instructions about how to launch this app in this mode. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. There is no instructions in any current application on how to get mixed reality running because they don't currently have it going. Also, if you download the Unity SDK, there's no information about there on how to actually get it going. I also went looking to see, hey, maybe there's something I'm missing. And of course, if you go here into the Unity developer guide, you can find, hey, Unity VR support, all this information at the very bottom, Unity mixed reality integration. So they've actually got it there. And you click on it and it says, whoops, not found. Okay, so apparently they don't want us to find it. Okay, not yet. They don't want the information to be out there. Um, great. The most recent download for Unity 5 is from 6-3-2017, and apparently this has nothing in it about the integration for mixed reality. I also went and played in Unity, and I could find nothing myself. So unfortunately, right now, we can get the camera tool to work, but we can't actually play mixed reality because still there is not the Unity integration for it. So once this page right here says something, once it actually tells us what we can do with how to integrate it into Unity, I'll be able to create something and, and actually make something right away. Okay, so if I load up the camera tool just like this, you're going to see that it actually says Calibrate Camera, and I can click on it, and I can click C922 Pro Stream Webcam. Okay, perfect. That's the one we want. You can drop down and actually see other cameras that you have. Uh, you can actually use pretty much any webcam that's uh, in, in existence. You can also use high-definition cameras if you plug them in from a HDMI to a USB to your computer. Um, from that, it'll also pop up right here, and then you can choose it. Works just fine. Like I said, any camera will work. So you go right there, hit next. Then you're going to want to give it a name, such as, you know, main camera config. I don't know. Um, whatever you think that you need to name it. We'll go ahead and hit next. And then, of course, it's going to ask you the camera image resolution. The, the, the larger the resolution, of course, the slower it's going to be as far as the lag ratio to the, the movement of the controllers. So I'm just going to use it at, at 720 right now just for purposes of this video. 
Okay, so here we can see on the screen, I'm uh, right here, and when I click on camera settings, it'll just bring up your actual camera settings. You wanna make sure you go into camera control and turn focus off, and of course exposure, you usually want that off when you're using the green screen. Once I hit next, it's gonna say start intrinsic calibration, and you'll notice the text down here is actually kind of in reverse. If I hit start intrinsic calibration, I have the ability to then flip the camera. Hey, flip the camera. It's gonna ask me to do 20 points. So 20 points, uh, and, and what does that actually mean, right? So earlier I mentioned that there was a pattern it wanted you to print. This is that pattern. I've actually pegged this pattern into the little boogie board here that we use because uh, I wanted to have something that kept it still that I could use without having to move it around too much. So this was a nice easy way for me to do that. And, and what you do at this point is there's these little squares on the screen. And when you see these squares on the screen, that's when you're supposed to actually take this pattern and fill them up kind of like this. So for example, so once you get the grid in place, you can just touch one of the buttons on the keyboard and it'll actually move. And when you're finished, you'll see controllers overlaid. And I've already done that a few times. I've actually already got uh, a, a save point. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that save point now. Back in the camera calibration tool, we're gonna click on load camera file. This time I'm gonna click on main camera config configuration. And hey, here we are. Are you ready to see the coolest thing in the world? We'll get ready, because it's right here. <gasps> yeah. So of course there's a little bit of lag when you move the controller, but as you can see, they are pretty much right where they need to be. And even though mine aren't actually completely perfect right now, you can actually go in there and edit it before you save your file and make sure it's just completely perfect. I've actually reset mine a few times and moved the camera around the room. So this is a nice test just to show you um, without redoing any configuration after moving the camera, it actually still works. So I'm gonna ask my wife if she'll come in here and help me move the camera around so I can actually show you guys the significance of what this is gonna do for us. So here you can see the controllers right now are being tracked and as we have a movable camera, my wife is currently holding the camera, you can see that they're actually still being tracked as that camera moves and as I move throughout my room, it's still being taken care of. Okay, so here you can see we've got the touch controllers. They're of course trying the best that they can to match up. This looks a lot better when you're playing a game with an actual, you know, an obstacle or uh, some kind of a device in your hand. So w when you're sitting there doing these things right here, you can move. And as you can see, as I'm moving, when the camera follows me, it actually keeps track and follows my controllers at the same time. And when I'm over here, of course you can see where my controllers are and what they're doing at all times. This is just really awesome. Okay, when I keep my hands completely still, you'll see that the controllers are actually really almost completely spot on to where they are in real life. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at that right there, that's crazy. You're moving these around and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and you put it back in front, it locks almost completely perfect on to where it needs to be. So that's pretty cool, I think. Woo. I can't believe it! I can't! I can't believe it! Ah! Mixed reality coming to Oculus soon. Okay, so that's pretty much all you can do right now. There's not, uh, not, not much else that you can do other than play around with floating controllers until they actually allow us to integrate it into Unity ourselves or uh, give me some more information about it. Uh, as far as publicly, there's no information, but I'm sure there's several people out there who are holding on to VR trackers and using the mixed reality integration themselves. Um, and obviously we're seeing these updates roll into Oculus Home, so it's going to be available for all of us very, very soon. I can't wait to get a chance to play with it. And I hope you guys found this video interesting. And of course, if anybody else has some more information on this, feel free to throw it in the comments. I would love to gain some more knowledge and learn some more about it. Also, if there is any applications out there with current developers who have created a mixed reality game who would like me to play it, please feel free to send a message. I will jump right on that. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for coming to my show. I'd like to talk to you about bananas and cream pie. That's how I'm gonna talk. <laughs>